Hi guys, for today's video, I wanted to do a little puppy update. I felt like this was the perfect opportunity because I was just sitting here and snuggling with Finley and I was like, let's do a puppy update because I've been getting some questions on my Instagram. How's he doing? How's training? What's his personality like? Um, and just wanting a little update. So I thought that I would give you guys a little puppy update on Finley. I'm trying to have you see him, so hold on. He's, he's sleepy. All right, hopefully you guys can see him. <laughs> Finley is a purebred golden retriever. He is, in my opinion, the most beautiful dog to exist. He is four months old, I think four and a half months maybe, um, at this point, and he is literally the best dog in the entire world. Like, I know I'm biased because he's my dog, but I actually can't explain how good he is of a dog. He is the snuggliest dog I have ever met, ever in my life. And I remember when we were in contact with the breeder and she sent us a picture of him with a description she said he's like the snuggliest dog who loves people so much and is like so friendly and just always wants to cuddle and that couldn't be more true like i've talked to a couple of my friends and they were like oh my gosh anytime i wanted to cuddle with my dog they would just like get up right away and leave and they would do like anything to not cuddle finley is exactly the opposite he will do anything to cuddle like to the point where if you are walking like in the kitchen cleaning up cooking whatever he will immediately plop on your feet and just lay there and i'm talking like you're in the kitchen like you walk over to grab a cup and get water he's on your feet like he loves to snuggle he is so cuddly and sweet i can't even he's perfect and he also is very mellow so he was described as a kind of low to moderate energy retriever so i will say he is a lot more mellow than a lot of golden retrievers a lot of them like you picture them as like these huge balls of energy and they just like never calm down finley's not like that he he does have a lot of energy he's not like always asleep or like lethargic or anything like that but he has like his bursts of energy and bursts of playing and loves to play but he sleeps like a lot and he likes to relax a lot so that's like perfect but to, in my opinion that's like my perfect dog where like we can take him on long walks and he can play and he can literally play for like hours with other dogs but then he just wants to like relax and is really calm at home like he hasn't chewed anything up like we've talked to a lot of people and we either have retrievers or just have puppies and they're like oh my gosh they've like bit holes in the drywall they chewed up my shoes they ruined the table leg like whatever finley hasn't chewed up anything like the only thing he's chewed is his toys and i know that's really rare for like a puppy and he's currently teething right now and he still hasn't chewed up anything um so we're so thankful and fortunate because he's not like a terror like so many people talk about like their puppies just being a terror like coming home and like the trash is all over the floor and like they destroyed the couch and like he he hasn't destroyed anything he's really calm so fun to see his personality develop because I feel like I grew, like I grew up with a small Shih Tzu I didn't see like a growing dog or anything like that like they stay one side Shih Tzus to me kind of act like cats <laughs> so I haven't ever really experienced seeing a puppy like grow up into a full-grown dog and get different personality traits and things like that and it's really fun to see because he hasn't changed in how much he loves to cuddle and how much he loves people, um, but it's just fun to see him grow and explore and just like see new things about him. Like Finley is fearless. He is a fearless dog and I love that about him. Um, my husband's parents have two yellow labs and <clears throat> one of them is younger and his name's Cooper and he and Finley are like best best friends and then Tucker is seven and he's a little more standoffish he's very attached to Ben so he doesn't like 
other dogs that Ben is close to. He's very emotional, um, so he doesn't like Finley. Um, and he actually bit Finley one. Not in like a dangerous whatever, just in like a, a bigger alpha dog telling him what he can and can't do type of thing. But the puppy mom and he was like, my baby. I was mad at Tucker for a while. But it was definitely, it was a little nip. It was not like he hurt, hurt Finley. Like Finley didn't even, was not faced. But my point was, Tucker nipped Finley because Finley will literally like gulp and lick his teeth. Like he just loves every dog. And Tucker nipped him. And I was like so scared that Finley was gonna be like scarred. Finley went right back up and sat right next to him and wanted to play. But over time, he has become aware of the boundaries and that he is not to bother Tucker. But just that's just an example of like, a dog can bite him and he still like wants to be friends. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of big dogs. He'll just like lay on his back and let them like play with him. He is the most fearless, unfazed dog. And I love that about him. He's also so friendly. He loves everyone. He loves every dog. He wants to be friends with every dog, which we realize we need to, you know, he need, he's gonna learn that not every dog wants to be his friend. He actually has learned that from a couple dogs. Um, but I just love how friendly he is. He literally loves everyone. And I already see that he so smart and he's learning so quick because my nephew is three and he's kind of at this stage where like he likes dogs but he doesn't know for sure when they come up to him so like he loves Finley loves him but it's one of those things that if Finley you know comes up to him excited he might kind of back off but I've seen how Finley already acts a lot more gentle with my nephew and like my nephew is feeding him carrots and normally Finley will chomp to get that carrot like we have to teach him gentle and he just sat there patiently like waiting for me to be like it's okay like to take it and then he would gently get the carrot from him he also doesn't jump on my nephew like he does act different around him and he does act a lot more calm and gentle and he's it's just really cool to see like how smart he is at such a young age that he knows who he can act a certain way with um so i just think that's really cool how he's like really good with a little kid and yeah so he's really awesome with that he's really sweet he doesn't bite he doesn't like do those things um we're working right now currently on down gentle um things like that he already knows sit he knows um leave it those types of things he's really good with commands i just feel like there are a couple commands that at this stage he is not into like come he wants to do whatever he wants to do um at this stage he's just so curious that's why i like don't really get mad at him um sometimes it's annoying when he won't come but I feel like he's just so curious and wants to explore everything right now. Um, so we're kind of like working on having him listen to commands and not just like go off on his own. But he does listen pretty well for his age. Um, he's very strong on walks. He pulls so hard because he's so curious and he's, he's strong. I've had a lot of people tell me, He's really strong for his age and his size. So I think he's gonna be a really muscular, strong dog, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, he doesn't really bark. He doesn't like growl. He's not aggressive. He's not like um, super protective over his food or his toys or anything. We've made it a point to make sure we can be around him when he's playing with his toys and if he has a bone and whatever it is. Um, so he's just really mellow and really sweet. Um, he will just lay by you like forever. Like he just loves that. Um, right now he is about 28 pounds. We have him on a slow growth plan um, because with golden retrievers, we learned that a lot of people actually overfeed them a lot because golden retrievers act like they are starving all the time. If we gave Finley everything he wanted, he would be massive. <laughs> and we actually followed our breeder's um, recommendation. She actually requires um, like check-ins of their weight and things like that to make sure that their health is where it needs to be because um, she feels really strongly about them growing at the proper pace. 
because what happens is if you overfeed them, if you feed them too much too quickly, they grow really fast. But what will happen is the way retrievers grow is their limbs grow really long and then they fill out. So people will be like, oh my dog's just big because it'll get tall, but then it gets fat afterwards. Um, and she said the worst thing she hears is when someone says, oh my dog, my retriever's 110 pounds, he's so big and they're proud because that dog is so unhealthy that she said they'll probably die at seven because that's not healthy for a retriever that causes them heart issues and hip issues. So it's really important to have them on a slow growth plan. So we've been following that and making sure that he's right on track and he has his next weigh in um, tomorrow and he's supposed to be from 28 pounds to 30 and he's at he weighed in this morning at 28.1. So we are monitoring his food. We recently just upped it. We're doing three fourths of a cup twice a day and you feed him that until he comes in underweight. Once he comes in underweight, you up it to a cup. So he came in at like 24 and a half pounds when he was supposed to be between 25 and 26. So then we upped it to a cup and now he's right on track. Um, and the breeder said that basically you'll kind of follow this until they get to a teenage age and then you'll up their food quite a bit. I think the highest you'll ever go is four cups a day, um, but then you'll bring it back to three cups when they're an adult because it's kind of like when you're a human teenager, you eat so much more and then you don't eat like when you were a teenager when you're a full grown adult. So that's kind of the plan we have him on. He's right on track, he looks so healthy. He's like getting muscular, he looks so strong. His coat's coming in beautifully. So he's really healthy or really just proud of him, honestly. Right now, he loves ice cubes. If you press your water to get ice, he runs over, so he loves ice cubes. He loves any treat you give him. He loves carrots, he loves snuggling. He loves to be outside. We are so excited to get a house, hopefully save up within this year to move into a house next year and give him a yard. He's so happy in a yard. My parents have a huge backyard. Bar Barons, Ben's parents have um, a few acres and their neighbors have a few acres. So he's got about eight acres at his parents, at Ben's parents' house to enjoy and my parents have a huge backyard. So we actually bring him to either of those houses between one and three times a week. We spend a lot of time with our family. Um, so he gets to be outside so much and run and play and we throw the tennis ball and he goes and plays with Cooper, which we really made it a point to socialize him and um, make him a really adaptable dog. So we bring him in the car a lot. We bring him around Cooper and Tucker. Um, he's been around little kids. Like we really wanted him to be in different people's houses, around different people, around different dogs and environments um, so that he can be a really adaptable dog. And that's really paid off. It's really made him so go with the flow and it's also helped him not be afraid or apprehensive of a lot of different things because he's familiar with them. We really wanted a friendly dog that gets along with people, gets along with dogs. We can bring him places and he's comfortable, he's not anxious. So we've been really happy with how he is. He loves the car, he has no problem going in there. We are crate training, he does sleep in his crate at night. Um, and that's actually going really well. He sleeps through the night. He doesn't need to get up at all in the middle of the night to go outside. He definitely has potty training down. I would say he has barely any accidents. He's probably had three accidents in the last few months. He, he really got potty training down quickly. I know that it's pretty common for them to have accidents. Oh, I have a puppy hair in my mouth have puppy act, have accidents up until about a year. Um, I know that's very common, but he's he's really good at potty training. Like that's something I'm so proud of is that how quickly he learned. He goes and sits by the door. Um, so it's been a dream, honestly. He sleeps through the night, which is amazing. And then he doesn't whine. If anything, he'll maybe whine just like two minutes and then go to sleep, but he really doesn't whine. Um, 
he does this thing where to, we see if he's ready to go to bed. And if we put him in his crate and he like, as he lays down, he like wags his tail really fast, that means he's like happy and ready to go to sleep. Otherwise, sometimes, I mean most nights, Ben and I will watch TV in our bed and we'll just like have Finley snuggle with us and then we'll put him to bed in his crate. He does not sleep in our bed with us, um, but he does get to snuggle up there. He's definitely a spoiled dog. I will admit that. He is so loved. It's crazy. We are those crazy dog people and I am very aware he is like my kid. Like that sounds so annoying and weird, but I can't even explain how much I love him. It's like crazy. And I just want him to be like the happiest dog with the best life in the whole world because he's such an angel. I know he's spoiled, but we, we are strict. We don't let him just get anything he wants. He does sleep in a crate, but we do let him on the couch, in the bed, those types of things. But yeah, I feel like that's a lot of like, mostly what he's been doing, how he's been doing. He's doing so good. Honestly, I feel like any dog after this is gonna be really like, it's, we have it easy right now is what I feel like. I feel like it's kind of like when people say, if they have like a really easy kid, of like, oh, just wait, your next one won't be like this. That's kind of how I feel because like he's such an angel that I'm like, it can't possibly be this easy again that he like learned potty training so fast. He's so snuggly and sweet. He's like literally the perfect dog. And he's the most beautiful dog. Like I, if, if I could change anything, I wouldn't. Like he's actually the best dog possible plus more than I could have ever wanted. He's like literally our best friend. We love him so much. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm gonna show you guys my sweet angel because you guys at least have to see his face when we're doing this video, but he's just been so sleepy. So let me show you. Come here, buddy. He is a big pup these days. Are you just the biggest bubba? He is so sweet. Let's just show you this. Angel, I know you're so tired. I'm so tired, Bubbles. Oh, mm, he is the snuggliest, sweetest dog. Like this is literally how he is 24 seven when he's not playing and he's like the most content dog I've ever seen being held. I've never seen a dog so content just snuggling being held. He's so perfect. So this is my little perfect angel. And I put side by side pictures of me holding him a couple months ago, even a couple weeks ago to now. He's so much bigger. My baby's gotten so big. But I love him so much. So this is my little puppy update. We're gonna snuggle now because that's what we like to do, right Bubbles? And that is it for this video. So I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I would also love to have you on my Instagram if you aren't following already. It's just Rachel Freebie underscore. I would love to have you guys there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.